y is equal to a to the power of mx plus c. Now the first derivative y is a to the power of mx into m log a. Now next derivative a to the power of mx this is m log a is a constant only for this m and this m will make m square log a whole square and this constant is already zero in the first derivative only. Now y3 you can write a m x m cube log a x a sorry a to the power of 3 and therefore y n is equal to a m x m to the power of n log a to the power of n. Next. Next question is the next question. Question. This is a good one. Y equal to e to the power of a x sine b x plus c. Now first derivative. First function as it is cos a b x plus c and use the chain rule into b plus second function as it is then the derivative of this function that is a e to the power of a x take e to the power of a x common then you have b cos b x plus c plus a sine b x plus c whole bracket now put b is equal to r sine theta uh, b is equal to r sine theta and a equal to r cos theta therefore r is squaring squaring this and squaring this and adding that is that is b square if I do b square is equal to r square sine square theta comma a square equal to r square cos square theta adding I will get sorry adding adding I will get comma I will get r equal to under root a square plus b square and from this and this I will get tan theta equal to b by a b by a now put the value of b here put the value of a here and take r common now this way y1 equal to the same y1 e to the power of ax put r sin theta cos bx plus c plus r cos theta sin bx plus c now take r common e to the power of ax now sine sin theta uh, sin uh, sin a cos b plus cos a sin b that is sin a plus b c wait uh, wait this plus theta plus theta and this but r you know is this now similarly for the next derivative for the next derivative you have y2 this r is a constant keep it out first function and second function first function as it is cos bx plus c plus theta then plus so this function as it is uh, sine bx plus c plus theta into a e to the power of ax Again, take e to the power of x, e, e to the power of x common. So, y2 equal to r e to the power of ax. You have here b. I forgot to write the b. b cos bx plus c theta plus a sin bx plus c. And then put b equal to r sin theta 
as above and again a equal to r cos theta as above so again now you will get r e to the power of ax r sin theta uh, cos bx plus c plus theta plus r cos theta sin cos this is cos wait this is cos theta cos theta sin bx plus c plus theta now take r common r square e to the power of ax sin a cos b cos a sin b that is sin bx plus c plus theta plus theta because of this now this theta was already there ye theta pehle se tha ab ye theta aa gaya now this is equal to so y2 is equal to r square e to the power of ax sin bx plus c plus 2 theta of course tan theta is b by a and b by a wait b by a therefore theta is equal to tan inverse tan inverse b by a b by a so y n equal to r to the power of n this is for for second it is 2 2 and 2 for n it is r n e to the power of ax sin bx plus c plus n theta where r is under under root of a square plus b square and rn is a square plus b square n by 2 take uh, like squaring you have to take n on both a power of n on both sides next question next question next question is take an example like this Mm. Take an example. Question again. Another good, good question. Let us take. Okay. X y equal to x upon four x plus three into x minus one. Now, before I do this problem. i need to explain partial fractions let us understand partial fractions partial fractions fraction let us understand partial fractions that is very very important to understand partial fractions now suppose i have a function like this mm, let us say a x plus b and c x plus d so what i have to do i have to write a upon ax plus b plus capital a these are all small b cx plus d cross multiply both sides number one type the first type number one type so you have to multiply one upon ax plus b cx plus d then you have a bracket cx plus d plus capital b ax plus b and over over ax plus b and cx plus d they undoubtedly cancel each other out now you are left with you are left with 1 equal to a c x plus a d plus b a x plus b b and small b take the eight take the coefficient of x together a c plus b a equal to plus into x plus a d plus b small b together the constant terms now compare the powers of x on both side compare the power of x on both side 
compare power of x power of x compare the coefficient coefficient of the power of x compare the coefficient the coefficient coefficient of power of x power of x on both sides both sides now see one means one actually means one actually means x to the power of zero so the coefficient therefore there is one means x to the power of zero basically it is a constant only keep it one and see x has there is no x here i can write here as plus zero x wait let me rewrite this see this was one you can write one as it is and zero x it hardly matters zero laga hoga to koi problem nahi hoga if you put a zero there will be no problem so this equating the power the power is one here the power is one here so this quantity will be equal to zero so ac plus ba equal to zero and this quantity is equal to one a d plus b b equal to one solved simultaneously solves simultaneously the way you did in class 10th to find simultaneously the way you did in class 10th this type of equation ax plus by plus is, is equal to c and a1x this type one so you will get the value of you will get the value of a so a you will get the value of a say it's p and say the value of b comes out to be q now put this value of a and b here this is let say the value has come say because i have not put any values so let the value be a p and q put the values put the values here this in this place now yes so 1 upon a x plus b c x plus d has now become p upon a x plus b where p is a number a is a number b is a number q c x plus d where small a b c d p q are numbers where a comma b comma c comma d comma p comma q all belong to real number and a capital a and capital b are unknowns like x and y like you did in x and y now the next type next type second type second type a partial fraction suppose i have 1 upon ax plus b whole square so what i have to do write a ax plus b plus b ax plus b whole square then take lcm ax plus b whole square is a ax plus b plus b equal to 1 upon ax plus b whole square cut this two now again as usual aax plus ab plus capital b now compare the coefficient of x on both sides compare 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 the coefficient coefficient of x the powers of x the powers wait a minute let me write it properly powers of x powers of x on both side so you can write here 0x so this is 0x so now so a a is 0 in this case so here a comes out to be 0 and if b comes out to be 1 straight away because a is 0 a is 0 and b is now 1 basically basically let me do it before that let me a is 0 from here let me do it uh, fully a is 0 this part is 0 now use this this is equal to 1 so your a b plus b equal to 1 plus b 
plus b equal to 1 a is 0 this is 0 therefore b here came out to be 1 now instead of this supposing supposing instead of this instead of 1 here instead of 1 here i have some expression say say i have some expression like this uh, let us say like this uh, uh, second third type let us say we have px plus q and then we have ax plus b whole square so you write a ax plus b plus b ax plus b whole square again the same process a ax plus b plus b is a x plus b whole square p x plus q upon a x plus b whole square now now you have cancel this all out p x plus q a a x plus a b plus b now compare the coefficient of a on uh, x on both sides compare the coefficient of power of x the coefficient coefficient of power of x power of x on both sides both sides now see this is compared with the coefficient of this so what you get what you get let it be here yes what you get a a is p and a b plus b is q from here a is p by a put this p by a p by a put this value here so p b by a plus b is equal to q this gives me b equal to q minus p b by a this is the third type now the fourth type this type 1 upon a x square plus b x plus c type now there is this type of a term into uh, e f plus e, e x e x plus f write this as the first term this term as a x plus b whatever power is here but one less power you write here you write here with one less power a x square plus b x plus c plus a b you, you use the word capital c e x plus f now take the lcm and let us write us write, write some point here right let's just say let us say p x square plus q x if it is one it is very simple there is no use doing it plus uh, c i have used q x plus p q r let us take p q r here take the lcm take the lcm here this is equal to a x plus b into e x plus f c a x square plus b x plus c upon a x square plus b x plus c e x plus f and now you have this here p x square plus q x plus r upon a x square plus b x plus c into e x plus f now cancel this with this now you do the multiplication on the right side left right side yes uh, you just did yes now write px square plus qx plus r now this two you multiply a e x square plus a f a f x plus b e x plus b f plus c a x square c b x plus it is capital C this is capital C sorry this is capital C this is capital C 
capital C plus capital C small c capital C small c now you have x square terms you keep together a e plus c a x square a f plus b e x plus b f plus capital C small c is equal to p x square plus q x plus r now equate the sorry compare equate the coefficients of equate or compare whatever you want to write equate the coefficients of coefficients of of power of x power of x on both sides hmm? both sides now this quantity is equal to this compare this quantity is equal to this and this constant is equal to this constant now here we have three equations and three unknowns a b c a e plus c a equal to p a f a f plus b e equal to q and b f let me take some more space yes b f b f plus c c is equal to r solve find find a b c capital a capital b capital c and then suppose capital a is a, suppose the value comes out to be x no don't write x uh, write some other variable let's call it alpha let's call it alpha some value alpha b comes out to be beta beta and c comes out to be gamma suppose these are values where alpha alpha comma beta comma gamma belong to some real number or some numbers some real numbers now you see it could be imaginary also let's not write r let's write c it would be a better option because real numbers are also inside complex numbers some type of complex number whatever it may be then put the value of alpha beta gamma here see here 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 you need to put the value of alpha beta gamma here you need to put the value of alpha beta gamma this is this is so p x square plus q x plus r upon a x square plus b x a x square plus b x plus c into e x plus f this can be written as alpha x plus beta a x square plus b x plus c plus gamma e x plus f these are the way you need to do partial fraction these are the three main categories of partial fraction let's come down to our problem our problem was somewhere somewhere here this is was our problem this was our problem let's copy it and bring it down let's bring it down here wait yes let's copy it here uh, paste this was our question okay this was our question now partial fraction first you need to do partial fraction x so let's do the partial fraction here x 4x plus 3 and x minus 1 is equal to since this ka power a hai na? the power is 1 so you write only one constant if the power is 2 then you write ax plus b like this it goes if the power 2 is ax plus b like here power x power is 1 then just x will come a will come constant will power of this is 1 power of this is 1 so constant power of this becomes 2 then you write ax plus b power of this becomes 3 then you write ax square plus bx plus c like this this way it goes leave it now this way a 4x plus 3 b x minus 1 x equal to 4 a x minus 1 plus b 4x plus 3 x is equal to ax plus 4bx 
minus a plus 3b right compare the powers of x on both sides so you have this and this a plus 4b the coefficient is 1 here a plus 4b is equal to 1 and minus a plus 3b this is the constant this is to be present the constant here is 0 plus 0 you can write wait plus 0 you can write so this is a minus 3b is equal to 0 therefore a is equal to 3b now put a here that is 3b plus 4b is equal to 1 wait let's not overwrite let's write this b so 7b is 1 therefore b is 1 by 7 and a is 3 by 7 this is the point now you write this break this into this way this way break it into this way now let's do it in below now here this is x upon 4x plus 3 y equal to into x minus 1 so this comes out to be a is 3 by 7 3 by 7 1 upon 4x plus 3 plus 1 upon 7 x minus 1 write this equation as 3 by 7 4x plus 3 to the power of minus 1 1 upon 7 x minus 1 to the power of minus 1 go for the first derivative this is 3 by 7 leave it now differentiate this this is minus 1 4x plus then you do the chain rule then into 4 plus this 1 by 7 as it is chain rule 1 by x and then the chain rule this comes out to be 1 only wait a minute x minus 1 to the power of minus 2 and then 1 this is minus 2 I forgot to write next derivative next derivative next derivative y2 3 by 7 minus 1 minus 2 4x plus 3 minus 3 into 4 square because of this plus 1 by 7 minus 1 minus 2 x minus 1 to the power of minus 3 1 into 1 is 1 only this one and from here 1 will come 1 into 1 so y2 can be written as 3 7 minus 1 square 1 into 2 this is 4x plus 3 to the power of wait a minute 4x plus 3 to the power of minus 2 minus minus 1 you can take minus 2 plus 1 because minus 3 is right like this minus 2 plus 1 plus 1 by 7 minus 1 to the power of 2 1 dot 2 x minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 like this <coughs> sorry now you have this looking at the two two here two here one two then two plus one two here one two so y nth term is three by seven two then two then n then n two then one into two then you have one into two into so and so forth up to n and this is 4x plus 3 to the power of this is 2 this is 2 here and plus 1 minus n plus 1 plus 1 upon 7 minus 1 this is 2 here 2 here so n 1 2 here for 2 so 1 into 2 into up to n and x minus 1 to the power of wait a minute so x minus 1 to the power of minus n plus wait a minute minus n plus 1 power so y n 3 by 7 minus 1 to the power of n n factorial take it down 4x plus 3 to the power of n plus 1 plus 1 by 7 
minus 1 to the power of n. This will give you n factorial and this will come down x minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 like this you need to do.